My name is Eric Baker. This video is brought to you by Florida State University College of Information. In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to remove and install a RAM module. Let's take a look at the materials we will need for this installation. For this installation, we will need a computer, a screwdriver, and a memory module. First things first, we must work in a safe and static free environment. So remember to power off your computer and remove the power cord from the machine. Also, remember to remove any plastic bags or papers from your work area. Finally, you're going to want to ground yourself. To do this, simply touch any of the unpainted metal surfaces on the computer's frame. Once you have set up a safe working environment, your next step is to open the computer. To do this, you simply unscrew the fastening screws from the back of the tower. Once you have the screws removed, simply press down on the lock and the side panel will come loose. Lay the side panel flat and turn the computer so the internal components are facing up. This is where the DIMM slots are located. As you can see, on each end of the slot is a clip that holds the module onto the motherboard. Now that we know where the RAM is located, we can now remove the RAM module. To do this, simply press down on the clips on each end of the module. Unclipping the module may require some force. Just remember to use equal force when pressing down on the clips. Once you have done this, the RAM module will slide out of the DIMM slot. To find out what kind of memory module you have and the amount of RAM, look on the module itself. This will usually be in the form of a sticker and is generally located on the left hand side of the module itself. Also, notice the notches on the center of the module. We will use these notches later when installing the RAM. Now that we have removed the RAM module, we can replace it with a new one. First, make sure the clips on each end of the DIMM slot are down. Once you have done this, take your RAM module, line up the notch on the RAM module with the notch on the DIMM slot. Place the RAM module in the slot and press down on each end with equal force. It may require a bit of force to get the RAM module to seat correctly. Now that we have successfully installed the RAM module, we will replace the side panel. Don't forget to fasten the screws to the back of the computer. Make sure the screws are tight so they hold the side panel on. The final step is to change your paging file. This is a step that many people tend to skip. However, if you want to get the best performance out of your RAM, you will need to change your paging file. For more information about paging file and how to change your paging file, please visit these websites. Once again, my name is Eric Baker, and I would like to thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you found it useful and informative.